Hello and welcome to our new fully funded scholarship episode. In this video, Dr. Muhammad Ikram will share the process of an amazing scholarship opportunity, a program designed for international students. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all future videos. Let's go to computer screen and start the process. Welcome to my computer screen, fully funded Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship 2023 and 2024 for international student. SRJ Africa is a unique platform that provides the valuable information of scholarship, research, and jobs to international students. The main objective of SRJ Africa is to develop a sustainable future in this world. Uh, so in the last video, uh, I talked about the uh, creation of the new WhatsApp group for international students. So many of the students have already uh, joined that WhatsApp group. And again, I am sharing the link of that WhatsApp group on the screen. So if you want to learn how to win a fully funded scholarship, I am going to start a complete course of how to win a fully funded scholarship in which I will share all the important information, all the different techniques, tricks, and tips through which you will be able to learn how to win a fully funded scholarship. I will cover all and each and every aspect of this, uh, uh, this course. And uh, this is completely free of cost. Uh, it is very easy to find uh, the information of uh, scholarship, but no one is uh, talking about how to win this fully funded scholarship. So, my so this is also an objective of SRJ Africa to uh, teach to student how to win a fully funded scholarship. Okay, so let's start uh, the procedure today. Uh, the two day process of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship. First of all, the table of contents uh, includes eligibility criteria, the financial benefits, the required document do you need, application process. So in this section, I will also show how you can create an account and how uh, you will fill the information. I have already created an account and I will show the all the different steps of application process in this video. So please watch this video till end. And uh, uh, application timeline, I will also share the information, what is the deadline of the scholarship, and finally, some contact information. If you are new on this channel, so please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you will get the notification of all my future videos on time. Okay, so let's talk about the eligibility criteria. The first important information in the eligibility part is the Commonwealth countries. So I'm going to show the different Commonwealth countries list. Uh, these uh, countries are eligible for this scholarship. So let's see what are the different. Okay, so 56 countries are eligible for this scholarship. Africa, Botswana, Cameroon, Gabon, Gambia, Ghana, Kenya, and so on. Uh, in Asia, we can see Bangladesh, Brunei, India, Malaysia, Maldives, Pakistan, Singapore, and Sri Lanka, as well as Caribbean and uh, America's countries are also mentioned here. and Europe, Cyprus, Malta, United Kingdom. In the Pacific region, these are the countries are eligible for this Commonwealth fully funded scholarship for international student. Okay, let's go back to our file. Uh, the next important eligibility criteria is you must hold a bachelor degree at the same time of admission. Yes, you because this scholarship is for master program. So in this case, you need uh, a bachelor degree in order to fulfill this requirement. Okay, the next is that there is no upper age limit, whatever the uh, the age you are in now. So you are eligible for this scholarship. University may have their own specific eligibility requirement for admission. Yes, I'm going to show also in this video the different requirements of different universities who are, who are offering this scholarship to international students. So there are some different type of specific requirements. And if a further question also, uh, there is a check uh, of frequently asked question. Uh, the link is also available in the description so you can also go and check more further detail about if there is any specific question you can also uh, get the information okay the second part of uh, this eligibility is the program offered so here all the list of uh, the master program number one is the llm in the law uh, ma applied uh, linguistics ma development study and there is a long list almost all the different disciplines are the area of studies 
uh, is covered in this scholarship. So I will also provide the link and you can get the information of these programs in the description. Okay, the next is financial benefits. So these are different benefits. This scholarship uh, is covering. Number one is the fully funded tuition fee. So 100% tuition fee wave off, living expense allowance, stipend. The university will also give some stipend, but university didn't mention how much. Uh, I also visited the website uh, of this uh, program. There is no such kind of information is available regarding the living expenses. Okay, return economy flight ticket. Yes, so economy class ticket, both sides also is covered in the financial benefits. Then the arrival allowance. So also we another uh, scholarship and sometimes this name is the uh, relocation allowance. So arrival allowance also maybe you will get some advance some money. So fulfill your daily expenses and the research support grant are request only subject or, uh, to approval for example for a, if you are want to go for any conference if you need any research material related material so you can also request uh, for the research support grant okay so these were the financial benefits the next is the document you need for this scholarship uh, number one is the bachelor degree of the certificate of expected graduation yes you need uh, the, the bachelor degree then transcript of your uh, bachelor program study plan you need two recommendation letter minimum and the English proficiency as per university requirement. So I have already um, checked this information. So there is not mandatory requirement of IELTS or TOEFL or any international proficiency certificate of English. But if you have is say good, you will have more chances. But they are asking a simple question. You have any international English proficiency? Yes or no. In both cases, you are eligible for this scholarship. But if you have may it may enhance the chances to win this scholarship okay now i'm going to show the list of universities that are providing that is on the panel of these commonwealth scholarships so let's go and see uh, what are the different universities that uh, if you will get this scholarship or at the time of applying for this scholarship you have to choose uh, a university among these okay so the first one is uh, Fiji in Fiji region, the University of South Pacific, and you can see all different master programs are offering by this university. Then uh, Stellan Bosch University, only two masters: MSc Pharmacology and MSc Process Engineering, Chemical Engineering. And here are some details are available. Then there is uh, Chavane University of Technology. Okay, so in order to see the, the courses list, so you can also go to the description. The link is available there. I can also show, show uh, quickly. So what are the different courses the university is, uh, is offering to international student? Okay, so we can see here. These are the different. Okay, programs. So here are the different uh, compulsory requirement subject level English admission points course and the programs uh, list is available here. So you can download this file and you can see if your major is uh, offering by this university. Okay, so here is the University of uh, uh, Pretoria, also view courses. Okay, and then in Sri Lanka, University of Colombo and University of Shiri Javardana uh, Pura. Also, this is the name of university. So these universities are under the panel of Commonwealth scholarships. Okay, so you have to select any of the university for this scholarship okay so let's go back to our main file and the next part is the application process okay quickly i will show uh, how you can apply for this uh, scholarship i have already created an account i have already filled some inf information for, as an example to show how you can apply for this scholarship uh, here is the the main interface or the application submission uh, uh, submission portal here, Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship 2023 and 2024, Cycle 2. Cycle 1 deadline is April uh, 10 and Cycle 2 deadline is May 24. Okay, so I believe uh, 10, uh, April 10 is uh, so near. So if you are, uh, if your documents are uh, ready, so you can apply. Otherwise, you can wait till uh, May 24 and you can apply for this scholarship. Okay, so simply you have to uh click on apply here should be a first page should be the apply because i have already created an, an application so uh once you will open this uh, page so you will have the option apply okay 
and next page you can see i'm going quickly to show how you can uh, nationality are you citizen or do you have a refugee status in the commonwealth okay so yes or no which country do you for example i selected india do you have a dual nationality no have you already completed undergraduate degree of as to uh, ratio one equivalent level yes as uh, the the degree in your country and in in uh, these uh, commonwealth uh, degree status you have to make this sure is equivalent to the their education system and you can see here uh, there is a list of uh, uh, universities okay you have to select uh, please note you cannot apply for scholarship in your country of citizen uh, if you wish to apply for a scholarship in more than one host country you will need to submit an additional application you can apply for more than one uh, scholarship in two different countries but in this case you have to submit two different uh, application i mean two times you have to repeat this process okay because at once you can select only one university and if you want to uh, apply for another university then you have to create an new account fill all the information again and you have to repeat this process okay then next step is okay title mr mrs or miss or male female uh given name i put srg africa you can put your name date of birth gender phone number is just a dummy phone number there is not real phone number email okay work and just i we put just any uh as a dummy information in this section because you cannot go to the next step if you will not fill this uh information on the page number two uh, do you have a correspondence address that is different from no yes okay so next page this is very simple just personal information they're asking for then academic employment record if you have uh, any job so if you have a job experience you also can uh, add some information related to your employment employment okay uh, then we have the attendance from attendant to when you started your bachelor degree and when you finished your bachelor degree uh, country of institution name of institution subject degree type uh, final grade obtained okay then uh, uh, another if you have for example high school you can also uh, add information of your high school uh, uh, education record okay then uh, employment if you have any employment here uh, you can also talk about your employment okay and then academic certificate you have to upload your academic certificate high school undergraduate undergraduate graduation certificate transcript and certificate both okay then we can see employment record uh, you can also upload your information of your uh, job you have done before uh, you are doing right now so you can also upload the information of your employment history okay and same if more than one english language proficiency is english your first language yes or no uh, have you taken a formal test of english language skill yes or no for example if i will select yes here you talk about name of test token my isles or toffel or gre or pte academic and the date of the test taken and the test result and you can upload the certificate uh, but if you have haven't any english proficiency uh, international english proficiency certificate so you can simply select no so it means you are also eligible for this scholarship so there is no mandatory requirement for uh, as a english proficiency uh, certificate for this scholarship okay next is uh, next is the course detail you have to first uh, course title i mean you can uh, choose a specific course in any uh, designated or desired university okay for example i select the uh, business okay so this university is only offering a uh, master in business administration if you want to uh, change according to this so university of south pacific is also offering ma applied linguistic so let's let's suppose well i uh, choose this okay have you already applied to university or had any contact with the staff here regarding this course of, of study no your study plan okay here you have to uh, fill some information of the study plan okay uh, at maximum 400 uh, and minimum 200 to 400 words okay then statement number two development impact and post study outreach okay so from 300 to 500 words you have to uh, put the information here then you have to choose one sustainable development goal among 17 there are 17 united nations sustainable development goals uh, for example if you choose no poverty 
then you here you have to mention how does your work relate to sustainable development goal selected above no poverty so you have to describe about uh, i will work on the no poverty sustainable development goal so this is my idea so these these are my objectives such kind of information you have to um, uh, add here okay and the minimum word is 150 and maximum 200 and then statement three creating networks you also have to um, give information of a, a creating network statement minimum 200 and maximum 400 words okay and once you will uh, put here all this desired information then go to the next page okay on this page you have to give the information of your recommendation letter mean reference letter number one first and last name email address job title and you have to upload the copy of recommendation letter recommendation letter your previous university professor where you have done your bachelor program he or she will give you a recommendation letter and you have to uh, add his or her information and upload the certificate uh, so if you don't have any good template of recommendation letter so you can go to the description and uh, i have already uploaded some very good uh, scholarship winning recommendation letter on my website so yeah, you can find the link in the description below you can download you can edit your information ask your professor to give you uh, put his cigar his signature and then convert into pdf and upload here okay so you need a minimum two uh, recommendation letter from your previous professors okay next next is the the privacy and confirmation so you talk about please enter your full name you have to here mention your full name okay your mean your name that is on your passport or your identity card okay then next page is please indicate how first heard about the queen elizabeth commonwealth scholarship so you can also add srg africa a youtube channel uh, through which you got this information or any other source of information okay then you have to uh, uh, review your information is there any mistake you can add it you have to check one by one thoroughly all the different steps that you have um, uh, fulfilled the information on this platform and then you can simply after checking if everything is okay then simply you can click on submit application and i cannot submit because if this is the fake information or the dummy information in your case you have to fill all the real information and you can submit application for this commonwealth fully funded queen elizabeth scholarship program for master students okay let's go back almost we have finished this uh, then we have the next is the application uh, deadline application deadline is the may 24th 2023 and also there is the this is the second cycle and the first cycle is the 10th of april so 10th of april is almost uh, approaching so if you will miss that date so you are, can also try for the second cycle that the uh, the deadline is may 24th 2023 and finally i want to show the contact us information if you will have any further query okay so you can simply uh, call them there is a number of united kingdom and you can also make an online uh, inquiry you can put here your in inquiry about what you have any issue of application or whatever and then first name last name email address and also you can uh, write your message here and simply you can submit so i hope you understand this simple and easy process and you have enough time to prepare your documents and if you will have any further comments so please leave a comment i would like to answer the question and don't forget to join our whatsapp group next video will be the first episode of the how to win a fully funded scholarship course i hope you will enjoy that course and that will be very informative and very valuable for students who are really want to get a fully funded scholarship to pursue your master bachelor and the phd studies abroad okay see you in the next video with a more valuable content Take care. Have a good day.